Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this limited edition Lean Cuisine Marketplace meal. It's a Thai style ginger beef. Um, we got these at Walmart for $2.48 and it was recommended to me by Loretta, so thank you very much. Um, it is tender prime rib, prime rib beef, broccoli, yellow carrots, and rice with a sweet and spicy Thai sauce. Looks pretty decent. I don't know about the carrots, but you know, you know how I am with carrots if you watch me all the time. Um, 320 calories for the meal, so not too horrible. Um, not too bad. Sodium's always a little high on these, but that's okay. Um, don't see any other directions, just microwave. So, yeah, microwave only. Um, okay, so leave film on the coat. Do not vent it. Cook on high for three minutes. Um, stir the product thoroughly, and then cook another two minutes on high. So, don't remove anything. Three minutes. Stir and replace the film. And then do another two. So it's not too awfully complicated. So here's the meal. Looks like you get a quite a bit of rice in there, that's for sure. And, and you get quite a bit of beef too. So, um, so anyway, let me get this in the microwave and I'll be back. Okay, here it is out of the microwave. There's a lot of steam from this meal. I don't know if it was from the rice or what, but there was a, this, this left a lot of moisture in the microwave. So I left the door open so it can dry out. You don't want it to rust um, inside your microwave. So always let your microwave air out. If you've got a lot of steam in there. So um, you get quite a bit of beef in there. Uh, with tons of rice. So it has a, um, a citrusy kind of smell to it. Uh, let me see. It doesn't say. I guess it's the Thai style sauce. Um, I don't know. But, but it has a um, it has a like a citrusy kind of smell. It could be the ginger, but it, but it smells like citrus to me. So anyway, I'm going to let it cool off and I'll be back. Okay, it's had time to cool off. So I'm going to try the beef first. And there's a little bit of rice on it, but I don't think it'll make any difference. So here we go. It's a really good flavor. It's got a little spice to it. So if you don't like spicy food, you probably wouldn't like that, but it's got an excellent flavor. I really like it. Um, pretty tender. It's a little tough. I mean, not bad, but just a little, a little tough. But um, again, it's not, not horrible at any, by any means. I'm not saying it's tough like shoe leather, but it is um, you know, tougher than like ground beef or something. Um, try some plain rice by itself. Pretty bland, the rice is. You know, if I mix the rice and the, and the sauce together, I'm sure it'll be really good. Mm. It definitely tastes better. Um, I know it has a ginger. The sauce is a gingery based sauce, but I swear that tastes like a citrus sauce. Um, mm, it's really good. The um, I wish the rice had a little bit more flavor to it, but I'm, I'm not gonna complain about it. It's, it's really good. And you just mix in um, the beef and uh, the sauce together, and it, and it is excellent. It has a lot of flavor. It'd probably been too much if you'd had a flavored rice and you mixed the gravy together or the sauce together. It would've been too much. So uh, so maybe that's why they did that. So anyway, it's really good. Um, it's all beef and gravy, I mean, uh, beef and rice together. Well, it's an excellent meal. Um, too bad it's limited edition because it should be out all the time. It's really good. Um, I'm going to give this one like a four and a half. I wouldn't eat it like every day of the week. Best meal ever. But it is really, really, really good. I recommend you try it out. Um, thank you, for Loretta, for recommending it. And uh, I'll catch you next time.